Hey guys, James from Crownender here. Now, have you ever wanted to use GPUs and CPUs at the same time to render? Well, if the answer to that is yes, then keep watching. So we're gonna show you a short video we shot at Sydney University where we were allowed to use some of their computers to test into doing just that. Yeah, what is a think space? I'm not really sure myself. Anyway, it's somewhere around here. <coughs> ah, stairs. Alright. Up the stairs. That's pretty crazy. Whee! I'm not sure if it should be doing that. What do you reckon, Jess? <laughs> hey guys, so we're here at Sydney University today to work in their labs, I guess. They've given us some computers with some nice GPUs in and we're going to show you what we're working on later, but for now, we're just going to let you enjoy the ambiance of where we are. So, Sydney University. There you go. And now we're actually going to be in the building that's behind us, which is hopefully visible. It looks horribly overexposed at the moment. And, oh look, and here he is. <laughs> no, he doesn't want to be filmed. All right, we'll follow Matt into the building, but not film him as he's requested. Hey guys, we're now inside the lab at the... Australian Centre for Microscopy and Microanalysis. There you go, I think I said it right. I had to read it off the computer though. So what we're doing today is rendering a scene on all of these machines. So some of these machines, well actually all of them have GPUs in and we're going to use all of those GPUs together to render a single frame, which is happening in front of me right now. So I'm going to flip this camera over. And so what you can see here is you can see we've got, I'll just get it in focus, We've got a simple scene in Blender. This is actually um, individual atoms represented by spheres, and this is output from what is called an atom probe, which basically gives you the position of the atoms in a sample, which is pretty cool. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this, this is the 3D view of the image, or of the data, and we're going to turn that into a visualization. So we're currently rendering a single frame, and we're using all of these computers to do it. So we've got um, one, two, three, four, five, machines, six machines with GPUs in, and this guy, Copernicus at the bottom, is a Xeon-based processor. So we're mixing together GPUs, rendering together with CPUs, and just tweaking how our load balancer can cope with that and make sure that everything's as fast as it possibly can. Another thing to note is, if I go over to one of these other machines, this is a pretty exciting thing, because some people have asked for this feature, is we are now not running Blender on our render node. So this is a render node, it's currently helping that machine we just looked at render. And it's not actually running the Blender interface, it is however running a little DOS prompt, which if I go in and just open this up, you'll see is our headless version of CrowdRender. So this is running Blender in the background and responding to commands from the other session where I was working. So we can render, we can update scenes, and you don't have to have Blender open on every single machine now means that pretty soon you'll be able to, with the release of 0.1.2, run your own headless servers on your render nodes so that you don't need to have Blender open on every single machine every time you want to do a render. And we're also going to make it scriptable so that you can start your computers with CrowdRender and Blender running, which means you don't have to go to each computer and start the headless server. You just have to turn your computer on and then they'll be ready for you to use as render nodes, which will be great. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting. Please remember to subscribe if you find our project interesting and you want to find, follow along. Also remember we'll be releasing, releasing 0.1.2 soon. So if you want to know when that happens, if you want to be involved with the testing which is happening right now, uh, you can subscribe or send us an email and yeah, we can talk. It'll be great. Bye.